This is back with Billy coming to you, the beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore, with my beautiful co-host, Fricky Bear. Right, Frick? So you wanted to be outside today. It was bad, weren't you? Broke a door in the house yesterday, didn't you? Anyway, put this on. Got to be in for the season, because Halloween's here. Ooh, something magical is coming. Teach the dollars to have stuff. Anyway, harvest blessings, happy fall, happy Halloween to all. I want to thank um, Tall Tales Brewing Company, especially Eric, the head brewer, and Terry, especially Terry, the uh, Mid Atlantic Regional Sales Rep. Um, they hooked me up with the conspiracy theory. This is the first in a line. It's called the Eclipse, okay? And, um, excuse me, Total Eclipse. And it says, Once upon a time, there were hops in my life. But now there's a lot more and some blood orange too. Hazy and creamy, this IP is the first in the conspiracy theory series. Did we land on the moon? Were there lots of hops? We will never know. Alcohol 5.9, 15 IBUs. Now, Tall Tales is in Parsonsburg, Maryland. Is there a dress on here or not? I'll read it to you. But either way, I will definitely put it in the description section, drop it down with more stuff. I respect the craft, love the liquid, Tall Tales. Now, they're an independent craft brewery that is located in Parsonsburg, Maryland, which is right outside of Ocean City, not far from the Ocean City Casino. Um, get a chance, stop down and visit them. They have an awesome outside area, like a beach with the cornhole, etc. Anyway, the big thing about these is the New England style IPA, which has been all the rage recently. This is the big thing, the New England IPA. What's the big deal? Well, New England IPA basically is going to be sweeter and fruitier than traditional IPA. And IPA traditionally is bitter, and you get more of your pine resinous notes in it, and a heavy hit of citrus. This is going to be more fruity on how they hop it, and the types of hop that they utilize, versus uh, what you get traditional IPA. Also, the IBUs obviously being 15 or less than that, say 75 IBU. So, some people call this a milkshake IPA, and basically, or a dessert IPA. And what they mean by that is that it's sweeter, thicker, and it's mixable. Um, some of the companies have actually added lactose into them, which is a non fermentable sugar as well. A lot of people add wheat flour to make it even hazier. So, basically, it's going to be hazy and thick. Mmm. Smell the orange big time, the blood orange. You can smell the citrus blast. A little bit of grapefruit. Now, I love this. I did one of these before. I'm doing this again because I didn't like the way the first one turned out. And I did it too quickly. As you can see, you get the color almost of an apple cider, which, by the way, we went yesterday to um, Bessie's Farm in West Bessie's. Maryland and got some fresh apple cider that was un oh, pasteurized. Awesome. Mind you, the color wise. Um, getting heavy orange notes, citrus, light grapefruit, very, very fruity. You can see it's cloudy, very cloudy. Obviously, it's going to be sweeter than a traditional IPA. Not as sweet as a lot of milkshake IPAs. Um, I like this. This has got the perfect amount on the end of hop bitters. Up front, you get some of the, the malt. You get your orange. And your orange lingers a little bit. You're bitter, and you actually get a little bit of your citrus and a little bit of pine resin that's nice in this. I get like a piney twinge at the end of this. Like pine. It feels like pine to me. Pine resin at the end. This is a delicious IPA. If you get the opportunity to check out Tall Tale Total Eclipse, the Pierce here, I would definitely check it out. Also, when we were at the Good Beer Festival, um, in Pemberton Park, um, they had the juice is loose with the bar spread because OJ's loose. Anyway. It was an orange IPA. Uh, they have Mother Juice. What was the one, um, Me Hop You Long Time? Which I think is already done. I had that when they first came out with it. And it's a limited release series, meaning they have it one time and it's done. This is going to be around for a while. And I, I personally would advise everybody to get the opportunity 
I give this two thumbs up. Um, either head down to Tall Tales Brewery and try it on um, draft each opportunity. Um, pick up a growler or go to your local liquor store and pick you up a six pack today and try it out. Um, it's back with Billy, two thumbs up. It's a New England IPA to me, to a T. It's perfect. Back with Billy, two thumbs up. Have an awesome day, guys. Don't forget to click, like, subscribe to Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews. And I guess I'm going to have to hook the frisbee bear up a little sip as well.